please. Hey, sorry. Were you, were you the sergeant that was out on scene order when I was yes, carrying her? Okay, look. Um, I, I'm not trying to, to antagonize or, or, bait, or bait you guys or anything like that. Uh, we definitely, we are out there exercising that right, and uh, we're, we're making sure that the police are responding appropriately and, and treating us appropriately. Um, I didn't have any issues with anybody other than uh, the female officer who, you know, detained me. She said I was de detained, wanted ID, so on and so forth. And we'll deal with that. Uh, but the other officer that was there um, didn't do anything wrong. And whenever, you know, I ask for name and badge numbers because when I do these, when I do my video, um, I indicate who who acted appropriately, who didn't, and then we, you know, we follow up and we get those situations corrected, get the air cleared. Um, and, and then that's it. So I didn't want to, uh, the, the reason I'm calling right now is that I didn't want to just leave the video at me asking for name and badge numbers and, and you know, what happened happened. No, I'm not giving them to you. Uh, I don't think it was, you know, a situation where it was fair to you, um, not, not knowing exactly what was going on. So now that you know what was going on, um, I would just like to get those, uh, that information. And then that way when well, I- Well, and, and here's the deal. I mean, you called us assholes. And yeah. our job right now in the world today is hard as it is. I mean, it, it, it's impossible. So, I mean, it, we get somebody walking down the street with a long gun. It is their constitutional right to do that, to carry that long gun down the street. We know that. The officer was simply just asking, just trying to make conversation with you. One, make sure you're mentally stable, you're okay, making conversation. She didn't demand anything. Uh, maybe, maybe she fell into a trap with some of your words. Sure. But we're, we're being, I, I know I know the law. I know what, what goes on, and we're not, we're not going to play that game. I already called my lieutenant. You're welcome to call him on Monday when he comes back to work, yeah. Lieutenant Jerry Hernandez. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't. I just don't appreciate that. Our job is hard today as a law enforcement officer. We don't need anybody trying to. to I mean, just talk to us, dude. We're all. We're all human. We're all. You know, we're normal. Just talk to us. If you'd have just said, "Hey, my name's John. I'm from so and so. I'm here exercising my constitutional right to carry my long gun. Is there a problem, officer?" Nope. Have a great day. We'll see you later. I mean, it's as simple as that. You give us respect and show us how. You know, because our job is so difficult. If you respect us like that, man, we're going to leave you alone. We've dealt with all this. Open Carry Texas came through Seguin um, before it got passed. It was over a year ago. They were the nicest bunch of guys that came through. We sat down and, you know, talked to them, hung out with them. They, they were totally cool. They never gave us a lick of problem. And then today we get somebody that wants to be confrontational and argue with us, and we're just trying to do our job and make sure everything's good. And then you call us assholes and walk away. Yes, was, was I stern and was I upset? I was. Because I'm not going to... I'm not going to play those games and put my officers in a situation where where they have to even worry about that. I know what the law is. I know you can carry that gun. As long as you don't point anybody or be stupid with it, you're good to go. And that's, that's you know, that's fine. But I just, I don't appreciate that. Man, we're just trying to do our job. And it's hard enough and, and, and so unsafe today to do our job. We don't, we don't need problems like that. We just don't. If you saw, you've seen the officers, I mean, San Antonio PD just lost one the other day. I mean, uh, you, you know, you, you should respect us more than that, that, you know, than to cause us problems. Just tell us who you are and what you're doing. It's a good deal. I'm, I'm all for it. If it's your right, you can do it, and I'll, I'll, I'll commend you, you know, but not to give my guys a hard time. That, that's just ridiculous. Well, Sarge, so. would, it, would it matter to you if I told you that before I said any word at all, uh, the lady officer walked up? demanded my ID. I asked, do I have to give it to you? She said, yes. And she demanded ID. I asked if I was being detained because I just wanted to walk off at that point. And she said I was being detained. That was prior to anything coming out of my mouth other than, you know, can I get, can I leave? Would, would that matter to you at all? I, I'll, go, I'll go watch your video and see, okay. you know, exactly how her demeanor was and what, you know, and if that's the case, then I'll, I'll, I'll have a talk with her about it. But Okay. I, I was, Sarge, I was respectful up until the very end, and I was upset at that point, too. Uh, all I, I wanted to have just some open, healthy dialogue about what I was doing and about, you know, demanding ID and detaining, but, you know, we just can't do that. You can, and I told them, I have no problem identifying if, if it's consensual, but if you're going to come and you're going to tell me that I have to and... It can go another way. If I don't, then there's then there's a problem, and I'm not going to ID. And that's but that's I guess, the issue. I, I guess my whole my hard part about this whole thing that I know it's your right, and I respect it. But why why even give us a hard time? Now? I just don't. I mean, you, to me, I, I still I still fall back on you're doing this just so you can catch the officers messed up, and that's why you're doing that thing. Isn't confrontation.
conversation with the officers. Otherwise, you would just say, hey, officer, how you doing? I know why you're here. You know, and, I mean, why not? I mean, because we're actually oh. a good bunch of guys here at the PD. None of, none of us are going to be jerks and throw you on the ground, take your gun away, and all that kind of stuff, you know? I agree. I, I, I agree. I agree with you on that point. I absolutely do. Uh, but to answer your question, there are some officers out there who don't do it the right way. The right way would have been to come up and say, what are you doing? Um, do you have ID? And when I said, I have ID, do I have to give it to you? If she would have just simply said and done the right thing and said, you don't have to, but I, I would like to have it for my report, you'll see several of my videos where that's what happened and the officers got ID. But it's the ones who, who demand ID, say you have to give it. If you don't, you'll get arrested and you're being detained. That's those are the ones that we want to catch, and we want to well, in the she, in the she end. She never said you'll be arrested. Well, she never said I would be arrested. She just no. I was being detained and being away. detained is a whole there's a whole bunch of different right. definitions to being detained. Right. Well, so she, if I simply talk to you and, and tell you you're not free to go, you're technically detained if you're not free to go. Yeah. So, she did. She did I mean, say. She did say I was being detained, and I said, well, if I don't give you, you're saying I have to give you ID, I don't agree. So if I don't give you ID, then what? And she goes, well, we can handle it another way. So anyway, the, the thing is, is that it's just not the right way to handle it. And those are the officers that we want to catch, and we want to get them on the straight and narrow at that point. It'll make their lives a lot easier with people. Um, there's, there's more than one way to skin a cat. There's more than one way to get ID from somebody. And if, if telling them that they have to when they don't doesn't work for you, hopefully she'll learn in the end. There's other ways to do that. And it's gonna make her a better officer and it's gonna make it safer for everybody around her. And that, that's our only objective. So I'll, well, I'll, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely look at her video and see if she needs some little, little bit of schooling okay. on how, her approach. I will definitely take care of that. I have no problem providing you with my video footage if you need it. Um, do you guys have body cameras? Well, she'll have hers. She'll, we, we, all, we all have video in our car. She'll have hers too. Any, any, you got it. Okay. Well, if you need anything from me as far as footage or anything like that, I'm more than happy to give it to you. I'm not looking at, I'm not looking to crucify her or get her in trouble or anything like that. Just looking to make her just a little bit of a better officer when dealing with situations like that. And I, I, appreciate that I, I apologize for calling you an asshole. I was mad because, you know, I asked, for, I don't need to name his badge numbers, and everybody was like, pretty much, screw you, bye. I was, yeah, I was we, a, don't have to, we, we don't have to give those out. There's nothing in our policy or the law that says we actually have to identify ourselves. And it just doesn't, just simply the way we look. it doesn't look good for you guys when you do that, though. It just doesn't look good. And, and we want you, I want you guys to look good. I want you guys, if, if we're ever out there, I want you guys to shine on these videos. I really do. Um, that, that's the, that, that would be great. Um, but in, in any case, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you calling okay, me back. Thank you. Thank you. All right.